Day 21 of the trial started pretty intensely, especially after Johnny Depp's lawyer, Ben Chu, was verbally disrespected by Amber's lawyer. Chu was delivering his opening brief and making an argument over the motion to strike what they filed when Benjamin Rottenborn accused him of disrespecting the court. Again, this is so much further beyond what Your Honor is addressing. I'm finishing up. Okay. I'm finishing up. Okay, I'm, finishing. I'm finishing up. My, my point, Your Honor, and it's on point, is that Mr. George made statements supporting Ms. Hurd's position. Ms. However, the judge didn't believe any of that allegations and even sided with Chu, who was allowed to continue. So, what did Amber's lawyer say and how did the judge protect Ben Chu? Okay, Depp's team started the trial by expressing their intent to file a motion to strike Amber's counterclaims for allegedly failing to prove that Johnny's former lawyer Adam Waldman made defamatory statements against Amber with malice. Your Honor, the evidence shows that Ms. Hurd cannot prevail on her claim because she cannot and did not establish that Mr. Waldman made the statements with actual malice. Mr. Waldman testified that he conducted extensive investigation and reasonably, re reasonably believed that the, the three statements he made were true. While delivering his argument before the judge, Amber's lawyer interrupted Chu and accused him of disrespecting the court. Uh, object. Um, Mr. Chu is largely just read his brief and confined his arguments to those directed in the motion. But like we saw with the last motion to strike, he's now directing his arguments to something other than what's at issue here. And I would object because I think making an argument not to you, but to the cameras, it threatens, it's disrespectful to the court and to everyone's time. And it also threatens to undermine the integrity of this process and risk the jury being influenced by outside factors. Well, it's his argument. I'll allow him to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. However, the judge clearly didn't understand where he was coming from and overruled the objection. A fan even pointed out how the judge basically told him to shut it down, say, and judge told his ass to sit down. He's a clown. Actually, I also agree that the objection has no foundation since Amber's lawyer cannot give their opinion about Depp and his team's argument, and suggesting that the judge can be influenced by outside forces is pretty much a heavy accusation if you ask me. Because of this, Chu was allowed to continue with his argument, which means the judge was very willing to hear Johnny's stand about Amber his counterclaim. Five factors. Well, it, it's his argument. I'll, I'll allow him to do his Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. As I was trying to say, what Mr. Depp is suing about are the three statements. And it's very clear, despite the pious opening statement that about the First Amendment, that with the testimony of Terrence Doherty and the emails that were admitted as exhibits, that the ACLU and Ms. Heard were conspiring to make it very clear that those three statements were related to Mr. Depp. Many fans commented about Rottenborn's objection and by the looks of it, no one liked how he acted. So far, Chu was permitted to deliver his team's full statement about Amber's counterclaim and while the motion to strike was denied, the way Amber's lawyer acted will not be put aside. This fan can't believe that the motion was denied saying, motion to strike defamation suit against plaintiff Johnny Depp is denied. Were Waldman's statements false and intentional malice? Or were they opinion based on factual evidence including audio? There is no evidence that Amber Heard was physically attacked by Johnny Depp period. How about you? Do you think Amber's lawyer acted disrespectfully? And how do you think this motion will affect the case? Let us know in the comments below.